Hello there you guys, welcome to none of my videos. I Ajax boss Eric Ten Hag is on the brink of being confirmed as the new Manchester United manager. David Arnstein from The Athletic said yesterday that Manchester United reached an agreement in principle with Eric Ten Hag to become the next permanent manager. Eric Ten Hag will sign a three year contract with an option of a further year. The other month, Ten Hag got interviewed for the Manchester United job and he told Man United Chiefs he needs five years to overhaul the club. By the way, Ten Hag wants to bring his assistant, Mitchell van der Gaag, with him to Manchester United. It said the other week he wanted to bring Robin Van Persie back to Old Trafford as part of his backroom staff. Eric Ten Hag's release clause is between two to four million. At Ajax, Eric Ten Hag has won some Dutch Cups. He's won a couple of Eredivisie titles and revert back to 2019. He got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals. He got appointed as the Ajax manager back in December 2017. So he's been the Ajax manager for over four years. His contract expires next year. Ten Hag is the former Utrecht, Bayern Munich Reserve and Go Ahead Eagles manager. But yeah, it would be good for him to come and experience the Premier League because he's not yet managed in the Premier League. Mauricio Potticino has also been relentlessly linked with the managerial role at Man United, but Potticino is staying at PSG. Ralph Rangnick He's been Manchester United's interim manager for over three months. He initially said he's Man United's interim manager until the end of the season, then he's expected to take up a consultancy role for a further two years. He said the other week, if Rangnick begins a consultancy role, he will only work six days a month. Uh, the other week, it said that the Austrian FA denied making an approach for Ralf Rangnick. Prior to that, it said that the Austrian FA had made an approach for Ralf Rangnick and they wanted him as their new manager. Peter Schottel held talks with Rangnick in Manchester. Before Man United, Rangnick was the head of sports and development at Locomotive Moscow. He's endured one transfer window as Man United's interim manager. Unfortunately, he didn't get backed in this year's January transfer window. 
Earlier on this season, Rangnick recommended Ewan Sharpin as an assistant coach and analyst. He recommended Chris Armisen as an assistant coach and he recommended Saz Chalenzin as a sports psychologist. So, to be fair to Rangnick, he has made changes since he came in. I told you, I've got a lot of respect for Rangnick. I think he's a very good coach. There's been good performances under him. There's also been poor performances as well. Manchester United have sacked four permanent managers since Ferguson retired. Even though Man United are not really known as a sacking football club. So the managers we've sat since Ferguson, we sat David Moyes after 10 months. Man United finished 7th under the Moyes era. Then Man United sat Louis van Gaal after 2 years. We did win the FA Cup under him. Then Manchester United sat Jose Mourinho after 2.5 years. Mourinho did enjoy one good season at Man United. He won 3 trophies in his first season. The three trophies he won was the Europa League, the EFL Cup and the Community Shield. But the reasons it didn't work out under Mourinho is because he had bad disputes with the board and bad disputes with the top players. And last year, Manchester United sat Ole Gunnar Solskjaer after almost three years in charge. You know, Manchester United have not been the same team since Ferguson retired. And, you know, Eric Ten Hag will not replicate what Ferguson did. You know, no manager will replicate what Ferguson did at Man United, and that's something we've got to accept. You know, Alex Ferguson retired almost 10 years ago. Ferguson, when he was Man United manager, won 30-odd trophies, including 13 Premier League titles, but he didn't settle in straight away, Ferguson, because he didn't win out in his first four years at Man United. Alex Ferguson was Manchester United manager for 26 years, so reflecting on that, he was a long-serving manager. The only mistake Ferguson made was recommending David Moyes in when he retired, but the reasons he did that is because they're both Scottish and at that time Ferguson had a lot of time for Moyes. Uh, Man United have not won a trophy for five years now. You know, Man United have only won four trophies in the last ten years. You know, Man United have not won the Premier League since 2013. And since Ferguson retired, you know, Man United have brought over 40 odd players in and we've spent over 1.3 billion. And let me put into the equation, you know, none of this squad's Rangnick, you know, he's been inheriting players who other managers have brought in. And obviously, you know, when Ten Hag gets appointed in as a new Man United manager, none of this squad will be his either. But I'm sure Ten Hag will get at least £200 million to spend this summer. You know, this summer, you know, Man United are going to make signings. You know, we need a midfielder, we need a striker and we need a world-class centre-half. And, you know, Ten Hag's going to get rid of a lot of players this summer. Uh, we've got to get the Glazers out of the football club because they've been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. Uh, the Glazers have owned Manchester United for around 16 and a half, 17 years now. They purchased the club for £500 million back in 2005. Uh, don't forget, Man United supporters are planning Glazer protests before the Norwich game on Saturday. We will revert back towards the end of last season. A lot of Man United fans protested against the Glazers at the Carrington training ground and at Old Trafford because the Glazers were planning to scrap the Champions League 
for that European Super League. Uh, that protest happened just before the Liverpool game towards the end of last season. And earlier on this season, it says the Glazers were planning to demolish Old Trafford. It said Man United were looking to upgrade the stadium. It says was what looking to increase the capacity to around eighty thousand at the moment. Old Trafford holds around seventy five thousand. It's the second biggest stadium in England. Old Trafford isn't a static stadium, even though it's old. Man United have played in the same stadium for one hundred and twelve years. Earlier on this year, don't forget, Man United recommended Richard Arnold in. Um, as the new chief executive, you know, he replaced Ed Woodward. It was good news from a Man United perspective that Woodward stepped down because Woodward was one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. He was accountable for how poor our recruitment policy was and that. You know, Woodward was Man United's chairman for around 17 years. <coughs> And um, you know the news regarding Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, like I said the other day, uh, the Daily Mail said that Cristiano Ronaldo won't be punished by Manchester United for appearing to smash an Everton fan's phone. Uh, Merseyside Police did confirm that they contacted the family of the 14-year-old autistic boy. Uh, Ronaldo apologised for the mobile phone incident at Everton. It was a disgrace what he did. You know, Ronaldo was very frustrated that Man United didn't win. He was poor against Everton last weekend. He did have a late chance, produced a good save from Pickford. And he got a yellow card in the game. Ronaldo missed the game against Leicester um, nearly two weeks ago through illness. I'm expecting Ronaldo to leave Man United this summer. If he doesn't leave this summer, he will leave next year. Will Ronaldo? You know, Ronaldo is the best player in the world overall. You know, he's won over 30 trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. And uh, don't forget, last month, uh, Ronaldo got voted Player of the Month. Since Ronaldo re-signed for Man United, he's got 18 goals in all competitions. He's got over 800 goals in his career. We we signed Ronaldo last summer for £20 million with add-ons included. His contract at Man United expires next year. There's an option to extend for a further year. Uh, Ronaldo is the highest earner at Man United at the moment. He receives 500 or just under £500,000 a week. And um, you know the news regarding Paul Pogba. Looks like he's leaving Man United this summer. Well, he's out of contract this summer. Recently, Pogba held talks with PSG. Uh, the other week, the Manchester Evening News said that PSG made an offer to Paul Pogba. The Man United dressing room believe Pogba's gone. And even when Rooney backed Pogba to leave, Rooney also backed Ronaldo to leave. So there you go. So anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes, below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless you all again very, very soon.